Hey, this is Pastor Major coming to you, and I've got a book here many of you might have heard of. This is by, of course, John Calvin, Institutes of the Christian Religion. And I want to show you that this man was not saved, that although there may have been a few things that he did not like about the papacy, that maybe he thought needed to be changed, he was still very much Catholic himself and was unsaved because he added to faith alone. So if we're to open this up and go look at a section over here about the sacraments, he believed that the sacraments were in necessary for salvation. In fact, you open this up and look on down here. This is what he says about the sacraments. For while our faith is truth in performing promises, they have used it for the certainty or firm persuasion which is had of the truth. In this way, while sacrament is the act of the soldier when he vows obedience to his commander, they made it the act by which the commander admits soldiers to the ranks. For in the sacraments the Lord promises that he will be our God, and we will be his people. And so there, according to him, in order to be admitted into the ranks of God, you have to keep the sacraments. And what sacraments is he talking about? Well, he answers that. What he thinks are the sacraments are baptism and the Lord's Supper, the two sacraments of baptism and the Lord's Supper. You go down here, he says, but as we have already shown that the sacraments are a kind of seals of the promises of God. So yeah, you get salvation by faith, but then you're not sealed. Those promises are not sealed until you take the sacraments. And then if you turn over to here, where he talks about baptism in this section, he makes it clear you have to be baptized to be saved. He says, for it is his will that all who have believed be baptized for the remission of sins. Hence, those who have thought that baptism is nothing else than the badge and mark by which we profess our religion before men, in the same way as soldiers attest to their profession by bearing the insignia of their commander, having not attended to what was the principal thing in baptism, and this is that we are to receive it in connection with the promise, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. So right there, out of his own words, you have to be baptized to be saved. And then when we turn over here, he has a section on paleo baptism. It's accordance with the institution of Christ and the nature of sin. What is paleo baptism? Well, that is infant baptism baptism and you all you don't even have to read the section that he is to know that he's advocating it because he puts it right here in the very beginning confirmation of the orthodox doctrine of paleo baptism and then refutation of the arguments which the anabaptists urge against paleo baptism because of course baptists we have always been against infant baptism because you have to be able to believe in order to be saved and the Ethiopian eunuch could not be baptized until he had already believed. He said, what doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, if thou believest, thou mayest. And so this man, John Calvin, was not saved. He was very much still a Catholic.